Hey guys, Art here. Um, I just saw an interview with David Foster, and he was talking about the fact there's no place he'd rather be on a Saturday morning than inside his studio working. And so here it is, Sunday afternoon, and I'm in my studio working. I thought, you know, I finished a book called Cyber Cybernetics, and so I thought I'd animate a quick little section on Chapter 13 that I've always really enjoyed. So I hope you enjoy it too. Bye. Two men. Two different feelings. I once had occasion to observe two men I knew quite well. They had remarkably similar backgrounds, education, intelligence, and skill, both attempting to master a brand new endeavor at the same time. Each was totally unknown to the other, but both observed by me. The details of the task being undertaken are unimportant. Suffice it to say it represented considerable difficulty, offered up considerable frustration, and required considerable patience. One of these men said to me, I'll never get this. You know, Max, all my life, everything's been difficult for me. I've had to do everything the hard way. I can't recall ever getting a break. I just don't have it in me to fight my way through this, too. The other fellow said to me, Max, I'll tell you something. All my life, everything's been difficult for me. Every single thing I now do well, every single thing I can now do effortlessly, and every success I've had, I started out doing it badly and struggled mightily to get from bad to good. If there's one thing I know exactly how to do, it is to go from being a bumbling incompetent to capable. Looks like I'm going to do that again with this. Which one of these men do you suppose gave up on this goal and walked away empty-handed and unfulfilled? Which do you suppose wound up successful? This is more than just the old cliché about positive thinking, glass half full versus glass half empty. That's superficial and tends to be consciously forced. This is deeper, foundational, right there in the self-image. How these two men have interpreted their lives, how they feel about themselves. One will see the slightest improvement as encouraging proof that he is again progressing as usual, from ineptness to competence, while the other will see the exact same slight improvement as proof that he is mired in struggle so great and challenged so unyielding he is not up to the task.